Hello everyone, another video and yet another virtual background and in this video I'm going to quickly go through how to actually tag a video on InPlay Online. So as usual we're going to get straight into it so I'm going to share my screen here. You can see I have selected a fixture so it's the, the typical football fixture that I usually play with on these videos and what I'm going to do is I want to start tagging this video. So quite simple, we're going to go straight up here in the top right and just going to click start tagging. So what this does is it's creating a brand new timeline. So first thing we need to do is create or give a name to this timeline. So I'm just going to call this video series as it's part of the short little implant line video series we're doing here. So I'm going to give a name to the timeline, hit create. And it's important to note here that anything that you do here is personal to you until you choose to share it. So you can go on as the analyst, you can tag. Not every player and coach is going to see it because you share the anal analysis afterwards when you're finished. So you're kind of safe in the fact that you can play around and do your own clips in your own time on your own workspace effectively. So you can see here we have a timeline below, but it's totally blank. It's a new canvas. It's ready for us to add some clips into. So on the right hand side, we have our tagging panel. So I've covered kind of different tagging buttons and stuff in other videos. Again, if you have any questions on that, just ask me, just let me know. For the purpose of keeping this video short, we're gonna skip the whole kind of process of creating a tagging panel. So the first time you do this, you would have to create a panel with buttons. You can see I already have a panel here with different tag buttons and different label buttons at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this video. I'm just gonna skip through it so you can see we're sort of four minutes in here, we've got the cursor here. So now all we're going to do is just tag the game as you would typically tag a game of football or rugby or whatever sport you're into. Um, so we've got the buttons here. Let's say there is a tackle there. I can press that tackle button and you can see that jumps in here. So create a row and you can see it's got a tag. It's got a clip in there just there. So if I just shift that cursor so you can see it a bit better. I can click that and it will have the, the lead and the lag time for whatever I've set for that particular button. So I'm just going to go through now and just say, right, let me just find, actually find an action here. So uh, let's just say there is a, a pass here. So he's passed it. I press pass. We've created a row. We've created a tag just behind that little cursor there. So what we can do here is we're now we're just going through the game and we're just tagging the match as things occur. So if we see a playing out, we can press that there. Example of playing out, we've got the row. Obviously, if I press the playing out button again later in the in the video, I can press that there. It will jump into the same row and we have the second playing out clip, which we can click on and we review as we're going through the particular game. So in terms of adding the labels here, I'll show you a real quick example of that. So if I'm tagging here, if I go, OK, there's a corner, corner's gone in. We've created a clip and let's say the corner is for the home team. So I can press that home label there, the label being one with the rounded edges. So now if I actually zoom into this, you'll see we have that label within the actual tag or the actual clip within the timeline. So that's how you would add that extra level of detail to your clips. So obviously these clips are taking a certain duration in terms of the, the clip length and that's all been set by the lead and the lag time of our buttons. Obviously in other videos I'm going to show you how easy it is to quickly change the, the duration of the clips and, and edit the clips afterwards but I just wanted to quickly give you a, an overview of how simple tagging was on here. So um, again I'll press another button here so let's just say um, there is a tackle there that's gone in here. Highlight and as you can see it's so easy and obviously for this video now I'm on my MacBook Air at the moment but you can do this on any device so it could be Mac it could be Windows it could be tablet it could be your iPad it could even be your phone so um, you can do the tagging on any device you want so it makes it really accessible and really easy to be able to do this and obviously everyone in your team would be able to do this not just the analysts the coaches can go on and obviously players as well if you want to encourage your players to do some tagging to start getting used to kind of reviewing their performance then they would be able to do that as well. So that has been just a quick little snapshot of how to do the tagging on Implant Line. As you can see, it's very, very simple. You've got your buttons on the right-hand side. You can have different tagging panels, which was mentioned in other videos, and then it's just a case of reviewing the game. And you can, which I didn't show you there, you can do that on different speeds. You can do that at half speed, quarter speed, double speed, and kind of, 3, 4x speed or whatever. So if you do want to zoom through a game, you can do. So that's it for this video. So hopefully that was useful. If you do have any questions, as usual, send a DM or leave a comment below and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video.